So the video you're about to see, I filmed quite a while ago. Um, I actually have filmed several videos and I just haven't uploaded any of them or put pieced them together at all. Um, but it's about the animals that we have in our yard. Um, the weather is very different um, than it is right now. It was summertime when I did this video or at least everything was green and warm and stuff. And so um, this, it's now cold. Um, I believe we have raised meat chickens in that time period. And um, so that means that it's been a long time. Um, but not much has changed in terms of the animals that we have and how we raise them. So enjoy the video because it's a valuable video and I do plan on doing individual videos about our animals and more in-depth information about that. If you have any questions, just post them below. Specific questions to each animal so I can make sure that when I'm filming the next videos that I can answer those questions. And thank you very much. Enjoy. Okay. Good morning. Um, my daughter, who normally does the chickens, my second oldest, had a soccer game last night. Well, she normally does all the animals, actually, um, in the morning. So, she's sleeping. Um, she played a lot and ran a lot, and so I don't blame her. So, I figured I'd take this opportunity to do the animals for her and take you all along to see all of the animals. Um, we're going to go to the chickens first. We have chickens. I don't don't ask me how many I have. I don't keep up tr up with that anymore, um, and I also don't keep up with their names anymore. Um, but my chickens, I will always have chickens. Always have a few chickens. They give me eggs. They create compost for me. Um, they're probably my least favorite animal that we have, but they're also my most useful animal, and therefore I will always have them. All right, so the chickens are done. I'm trying to decide if I should go ahead and do the rabbits or do do the goats and milk Greta first. You know what, let's go ahead and milk Greta first. So your larger livestock animals are very routine. So it'll be really interesting because I'm not the one that normally gets her out of the barn. Uh, Olivia is. Um, I stand over at the milking stand and she comes running to me to get onto the milking stand. We will see how this works. I'm going to set you all right up here on our grill. Kind of see, okay, you can see the barn. So right and point there is where the goats are. Um, we still have her baby and he is locked up in a kennel so that way he can't nurse on her at night. So we walk her all the way out underneath our patio where the milking stand is. Um, so I guess we'll see how she does. This is definitely more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Come on. So 
but animals are definitely routine animals, and when you change up the routine, it throws them off. Come on. We changed up the routine the other day, and then she would only give me half the amount of milk that she would normally give me. Come on, little mama. You know, you know what to do. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good girl. And while goats, well, chickens, sorry, are my least favorite animals, but ones that I will never be without, goats are my most favorite animals, um, but it's the one that I can, can live without. Um, so, if life ever gets too busy, I probably won't have goats again. Um, or have goats now, or whatever. You know what I mean. It's early ish. But they're the one animals that I can live without because we can live without our dairy. But I love them. And to be honest, if I had more land, I'm not quite certain. Like, I would love to have a cow for all the things that a cow can give. But I love that goat's milk is so easily digestible. And you can make all sorts of cheeses too with goat's milk. Um, a little, few little tidbits about goats. Um, having a goat is like having toddlers forever. Um, people who say that they don't like goat's milk, these are the things that I've learned. Okay. If you have a buck with your does your milk is going to taste goaty. Bucks are nasty. They pee on their faces. They're all over the girls. They have an aroma about them. And your goat will taste that way. If you don't clean the udder good enough, your goat is gonna taste, goat's milk is gonna taste like licking a goat's udder. Which is super yummy, right? Um, also, if you um, so goat's milk itself. I have learned that you need to consume it within the first day or two. If you do not, your goat's milk is going to start tasting bad, which is one of the reasons why I feel like people who have had goat's milk at the store or haven't liked goat's milk is because it is older. Um, if we don't eat or consume this milk, which is, she part, gives us great m amount of milk for our, our needs. Uh, granted, I would love to have more so that we can consume it and make cheeses out of it and stuff like that. Um, but she doesn't for now, so we get what we need from her. Um, she will. And when we have the other two in milk, I'll have more milk than I know what to do with it. And uh, so if you're not gonna consume goat's milk within the first two days, I would suggest that you do something else with it. Freeze it for soap making, go ahead and make cheese out of it, go ahead and make yogurt or uh, milk kefir out of it, something. But do something else with it. If you're wanting, wanting to consume it um, for fresh, like what, however you would use milk for, cereals or drinking or in your coffee or whatever, uh, which is what I use it for is in my coffee. Um, uh, you want to do it within the first day or two. So no more than three days. That's my suggestion because then it really starts tasting goaty. She is still nursing her baby, so we only milk once a morning, once a day now. Once her baby is gone, then I'll be milking twice a day, and I'll be getting probably about a quart of milk from her. Uh, she's a great milker. She stands for me easily. I wish her teats were bigger. I have big hands, so it can be difficult, but she gives me what I need, and that's it.
And this time she ran right to the gate. Going in, there you go, good girl. Oh, Bucky, you're almost too big for this thing. <laughs> See if he's still nursing. She's like, hey, you can nurse now. I'll let you have a little bit but he's obviously not, there he goes. And he's almost as big as his mama. You see that? Now we're gonna move on to the bunny rabbits. And they're giving me mean looks, like why did you not feed us first? You're supposed to feed us. So that's what I'm gonna go do. We have our pet rabbits and we have our meat rabbits. The meat rabbits are new to us. Um, we have the silver fox breed. Um, we make sure that they have fresh hay every morning which I did not check on the goat's hay and I'll have to go back and do that. So I give our rabbits the hay that the goats drop into a trough because the rabbits will eat it but the goats won't. What's up, Blueberry? What's up? Are you ready for me to feed you? She's like, feed me, feed me. Blueberry's a pet. That's her daughter, Spotter. Well, I had a really cool video of you all, I thought I did, of you all watching me feed the animals. It only takes less than a minute for their feed but I'd never press play. So we're gonna talk about these guys. So you all saw the pets. They are pets. These are my girls. This is their thing. Um, their hay sits on this outside. Some of them eat more hay quicker than the others. So I'll go in there in just a little bit, but we give them all a cup of feed. It's sunflower seeds and some rabbit pellets and they eat those. Um, and then the hay that they get is a Timothy hay. So these are our meat rabbits. This is the silver fox breed. I've wanted these guys forever. Well, it seems like forever, for about five years. I figured if I was gonna do meat rabbits, I need to do something that is going to give me not only meat, but a really good coat. And this is our breeder. She's Miss, this is Miss Patty, like Patty LaBelle. Do you see that? Wait, hold on, can you see that? I call it her beard. It looks like she's got a piece of like, well, she does have a piece of fur around her, but you know what I mean, like one of those like boas around her. She's so fancy. She's so pretty and so sweet. This is just a super, super sweet breed. And I've got to breed her. I've been saying that for like the past two weeks that it's time to breed her. It's that weather time. And then these are her daughters. I told the girls not to name them, but they have. And um, because one of them isn't going to stick around, most likely. Um, uh, we want, I do, what I want to do is breed both of them at the same time. So that way I can see who's going to be a good mother and who's not going to be. Um, so, but they're good. They're uh, good girls. We got these from a, a gentleman who is getting out of breeding. And then we have two men, two men, <laughs> two males. This is Murphy. Say, hey Murphy, hello. 
Sweet boy. Yes, he is. You see that silvering in his coat? <sighs> so what's unique about the silver fox breed is you can do this with their fur and it stays standing up. I wish you could feel this. This is, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful fur. And this gentleman is Armando. Um, I'm not, he's like, I don't know you, so you, we're not gonna, we're not gonna hang out here. He's used to, like I said, they're used to, um, somebody else taking care of them. And what's cool about this is the, the rabbits from up here poop and pee down here, and then we come out about once a week and clean it all out. It's, we spray it down. It's supposed to go down on its own. Um, it maybe not, it probably doesn't have the right angle to keep going, but we clean it out and then these guys just, theirs just go straight directly down. And then what I can do is come out here and I can rake it all, all out. And then I put it into my chicken run and it turns into soil that I can use later. If I let the chickens out, they come immediately over to this area and they scratch it and all of that stuff. And within a week, it is like beautiful soil. So I can rake that all up and I have applied it to a garden bed directly next to them and we're, uh, we're gonna pull from food from them. So if you look here, I planted some leafy greens over here. We can eat those leafy greens. They can eat those leafy greens. I planted stuff that's gonna last all winter long, even under a frost. So now we're gonna go feed the meat rabbits. Well. Those are meat rabbits. These are the babies. These are the ones that are destined for freezer camp. They're super friendly too, but they really want food. I put a big bale of hay in here. Hi, Mo. Hey, guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm gonna come to the back of our area and I'm checking on our quail. Um, quail are super easy. They only need to, they don't eat tons of food. So we feed them every few days and then just make sure they have water. So this is our quail. We use a deep litter method, just like we use the chickens or use with the chickens. And um, they scratch a lot so we have to clean their water out constantly because they're always putting stuff in it but these guys are four or five weeks old so here in a few weeks they should be laying eggs and we should know who's male and who's female and we'll separate out the males or the ones that we don't want to keep because we do want these for eggs and breeding purposes so i'm gonna have let's see there's 15 in here i would love love it if I had like 10 females which I don't think that that's gonna happen um, but I'm gonna do like a five to one ratio so at least five females to one male to ensure that the eggs are fertile and then we have an incubator so we can keep hatching them out quail are quail are super easy and very quiet so if you can't have chickens where you're at you can have quail because they sound like the wild birds around um, they're also insanely easy to process insanely easy um, so yeah if you can't have chickens do quail uh, meat rabbits if you can't if you can get over the cute factor meat rabbits are also great because they don't make any noises either um, and rabbits are really, really good, have really good fertilizer for your garden. Their poop is. It's a cold manure. So you can apply it directly to your garden and it's okay. Okay, so let's see, we did the chickens. 
but so the egg laying chickens we did the goats um, the rabbits and the quail and I have one more one more animal that we need to go check on so babies are our favorite around here I mean who doesn't love a baby animal right how are they doing All right, these are our baby chickens. Chickens. The majority of them are um, a meat bird. Some of them may be egg layers, like a, um, I don't know, a legern, a white legern, which is what lays the white water, or white water, sorry, the white eggs. <laughs> I was looking at their water going, oh, I need to clean that out. Um, so, I wasn't gonna do that this time of year or raise meat chickens this time of year, but these guys were 25 cents each, so couldn't pass that one up. Okay, sorry. So that's the animals that we have in our backyard um, for livestock. Uh, so the, probably the most, the, the question I get the most is how long does it take me to, I'll take that back, I have two questions. What do my neighbors feel about it? Um, some of them are okay with it. Um, we do try to be really, really good about the noise and the smell and things like that, but they are farm animals, so sometimes things smell. Sometimes life gets busy and we can't keep up with it as often as we would like to, but we do try to be mindful of that. We also try to be mindful of the noise, um, especially in the mornings because they can get very, very noisy, um, like the roosters. We have dueling roosters currently, and you know, like I said in the last video, one of the last videos is that one, they're on audition to see who gets to stay around. Um, and then the other one is, um, how long does it take me to feed them in the morning? Well, it doesn't do much for me because I'm not the one that does this in the morning, but if I did this in the morning um, and I wasn't videotaping what I'm doing, between feeding them and cleaning their waters and getting them fresh water, um, letting them out, all that stuff, it probably takes 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I usually, there's usually a kid doing it, so they may take longer. It just depends on what they want to do. If it's me and the two kids that are on the animals, um, we can get this done very quickly. Um, we spend more time on them in the mornings than we do in the evenings. Um, throughout the day, we just make sure that they have fresh water. The rabbits um, always need hay, access to hay, and so do the goats. So we need to make sure that that stuff is always um, available. So those are things that I would do and check up on and make sure they have. So sometimes it could take a few minutes longer, especially if the goats are out of minerals, um, then, you know, that kind of stuff. So I always a lot for at least 30 minutes in the morning time for taking care of animals. Uh, it doesn't take that long usually, but I a lot for that time. Uh, when it comes to cleaning the animals stuff, then it's going to take longer. I'm going to do videos, separate videos on each animal that we have, how we've raised them, um, and uh, maybe what we would do differently if we had more space. Um, or if we had it to do all over again, like start fresh, like what would I do knowing that? Because um, I might do a few things differently with the goats. Um, the chickens, we've done a few different things with them. I like our current setup, I think the best for a backyard. And then our rabbits, I so far really like the setup that we have with the rabbits in terms of keeping them clean. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching and coming along with me as I took care of the animals by myself, which is not my normal. Uh, just so you all know, my kids help out a lot around here. It's not just me doing it. Um, and so they help out, uh, they enjoy it. My daughter who normally does this will probably not be super happy with me, but because, because she does like it so much, but that's okay. So thanks for watching. If you want to keep up with us and know when we create more videos, hit the subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Um, 
and it will help me to keep creating more videos and probably get better at this. The more I do it, the better I get, right? Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Bye.